Hi, this is Jennifer, and I want to talk to you today about plastic surgery. Plastic surgery and dancing are definitely two of a kind, and so many women are getting boobs and Botox and lip injections, which I'm all a big fan of. However, I want you to be educated and have all of the facts so that you can find the right person to do your surgeries and your procedures so that you can benefit the most and not get a bad job. So for instance, I'll give you an example. I've had a boob job, I've also had a nose job, I've had Botox, I've had lip injections, and the normal person just off the street or in my club would never imagine that I ever had anything done. Because originally plastic surgery was invented to actually bring abnormalities or deformities to normalities, to where people could have normal lives and normal social lives and things like that. Nowadays, we want to take our normalities and make them superficial. And I think that there's a fine line between making your normality or whatever it is, whatever quality that you want to change about yourself a little better versus too fake of a look. For instance, there's ways that you can tell your plastic surgeon is qualified to, to service your needs appropriately. They should always talk to you about your goals. They should always make sure you have realistic goals. They should be certified by the different various medical boards uh, listed in Freedom 5. There's many things that you need to look for when you're looking for a plastic surgeon, but most importantly, and I can't stress this good enough, is to make sure that they do not want to distort your figure. Meaning, these extreme breast augmentations where you think that you need double D's or triple D's or whatever it is, is not good for you. It's not healthy. It's going to stretch your skin out. If your implant pops, which isn't a big deal as most people think, that's another misconception, but if something were to happen and it starts to leak, you know, all of the jobs have to be redone at some point and you have to think about the long term. It's kind of like getting a tattoo. You know, you don't want to get something that later on down the road is going to cause you problems, you're going to hate, you know, it's going to make your skin look saggy. You're going to be a 30 or 40 year old who has skin on the front side all the way down to your thighs because you made a bad decision and that kind of stuff cannot be fixed later on. You know, um, if you have to reduce skin uh, stretching, that's going to leave a nasty scar and it's not going to be pretty. So you definitely want to get with a surgeon, make sure that they make you look natural. You do not want extremes. I've done a survey numerous times in clubs all over the country that I've worked at and most men prefer natural over fake uh, in 100% of the cases. You know, most people know that the fake breasts look great in clothes and everything like that, but they don't feel good, they don't look good naked or whatnot. Now, I am living proof that you can find a surgeon that is wonderful, that will make your breasts look beautiful, natural, like a statuesque, you know, Greek sculpture, but not something that's gonna look overly done, overly rated, and uh, over the top. So you definitely wanna think about your health here, not just your image. You know, if you get breasts that are too large, you're gonna have back problems, just a fact. So definitely be careful about that. Other things to think about is when you get a lip injections, you know, do you wanna get the, um, uh, which injections do you want? Do your research about the different fillers for your lips. Also, you know, Botox versus Reloxin. Reloxin is a new competitor to Botox. Uh, lasts a little longer, but the effects aren't as drastic. Those are the things that you need to look into. Um, you know, they can definitely help you to prevent making those wrinkle uh, wrinkles on your face, and they can deaden the wrinkle-making muscles. But I found that with getting Botox in my forehead, that my eyebrows started to droop because what it does is it deadens those muscles in your forehead. Which you know, if you know, as you know, if you don't keep your muscles in your face tone and secure, then. You're, if you don't lose it, you're gonna lose it. So those are all things that you need to think about in your beauty regimen. They're all wonderful things to take advantage of to prevent you know, looking older and you know, to retain your youthful appearance. And they're all wonderful. Just find the right surgeon and the right practitioner that can give you all of the facts unbiased. It has you know, helped me to increase my money because of the the notes that are put in the book about um, 
fulfilling what a man wants when he comes into the club. You know, when a man comes into the club, he's looking for a fantasy. He's getting away from his wife, his kids, his job, and what he wants is to feel wanted and feel like somebody cares for him in a different way, you know, by having conversation, having a drink, doing, doing a private dance if that's what he wants, but that's what the, when they come in, that's what they want. They just want to escape reality and have that fantasy with them. And um, it's really helped me to give them the shape Freedom Five has because um, it's taught me how to um, eat healthier, take care of my body when I'm working, when I'm not working, when I'm, you know, on the go, things like that. So it's really helped me to keep myself healthy and in shape while I'm on the job and while I'm at home.